Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. We're going to talk about how you play out of rough. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. This applies both to a chip shot and to a long shot out of the rough. Now, I know most amateurs are fascinated with the rough that, you know, they, they see pros getting in there and sometimes we hit a wood or a long iron out of the rough and, you know, they're struggling to hit a, a wedge out of the rough. Well, all rough is not the same. It really depends on how the ball, not how deep it is into it, but what way the grass is lying and how much moisture is in the grass. So there's a number of factors that come into it. So we're going to talk about those now. But first of all, we're going to talk straight about the technique. Okay, so when you're playing a pitch shot, chip shot, you, there's this thought that you should on a chip shot hit two inches behind the ball in the rough, a bit like a bunker shot. Rubbish. If you try and hit two inches behind the ball, you're going to end up hitting six inches behind the ball. You always try and hit the ball as clean, as tight to the golf ball as you can in the rough whether it's a long shot or a chip shot, you've got to understand that you're not going to do it. You know, ultimately, I cannot hit that ball clean. I have a ball down here. So if I try and hit it nice and clean, okay, I am end up going to come in about two or three inches behind, but I'm trying to hit the ball nice and clean, okay? I ain't trying to get the golf ball two inches behind. As I said, that would be too much grass, and it's the same on a long shot. I'm trying to get kind of steep down and hit the golf ball first. I know it won't happen. I know out of a heavy lie, it's gonna come out dead just like that. So it's definitely coming out dead, as you can see, okay? Because the grass is sitting up around it. I have no choice. I'm gonna get grass before the ball. We can see there's loads of grass on my club face. It's in my grooves. I can't hit it clean, but I've gotta try and hit it clean. That's gotta be your first goal, hit it clean. Now, the second goal is to read the lie. Okay, what I talked about. I suppose there's, there's five possibilities to the lie that we can get, and you've got to understand each one to read it, okay? So if the golf ball sits straight down in the grass and the grass is sitting straight up, we call that neutral. It's going to come out slightly dead, so you're going to have to hit it harder. It's not going to have spin, but it's not going to come out very fast, okay? So if the grass is growing straight up. If the grass, that's growing straight up now, so I'd have to hit that pretty hard and it will come out dead. Again, it's quite green when you look at it. If the grass is brushed down that way, as you can see, the grass is going with me. Just like on the green, the contrast is pale and it's going that way. That ball is gonna come out fast and spin. With a short shot and a long shot, it's gonna come out fast with a flyer and go a long way. So it's gonna go further out of that lie than it would off the fairway because the grass is helping accelerate the club because the grass is going in the same direction that I'm going. Now, if I was to turn around and try and hit against that grass, it would come out exceptionally heavy because as I hit in, I'm gonna hit grass and it's all gonna stand up and it's gonna grip around the hosel, it's gonna grip the face. So you can see the grass stands up, it's gonna come out particularly dead and go nowhere. Okay, so that's the, the grass going against you, you've got to really hit hard. The grass growing straight up, you've got to hit fairly hard. And the grass going with you, you actually got to hit easy because it comes out quick. So it depends on the direction that the grass is growing. If it's pale, it's coming out fast. If it's dark, it's coming out slow. On that, the greener the grass, obviously the more moisture in it, the heavier the ball is coming out, the harder you got to hit it the paler the grass, so if, if, if the grass was this color here, this dead grass, you know, you're gonna get flyers, it's just gonna come flying. So that would be like lynx grass, the ball is gonna come out really quick and go a long way. So if the grass is brown, usually the ball comes out quick. If the grass is dark green, it comes out slow. If the grass is under a tree, so if you've hit it under the tree, you'll see all golfers, they take a practice swing. And what we notice when we take the practice swing a lot of times is, how thick, how much resistance is in the grass. If you're under the tree line, generally there's no roots. The grass can be quite long, but 
under the trees the grass won't grow heavy with thick roots so the ball will come out quick and you don't need to worry about if you're on the tree line if you're close to the fairway and sprinklers usually the grass is quite thick and lush and it's it's it will be dark green and the roots are strong that's the one that you have to hit very hard so under trees not too bad grass going with you it's going to come out quick here's two little extra bonuses so if the grass is going across you okay so if i was to brush the grass this way okay so it's coming this way now so the gra grass is growing towards me when i swing that grass is going to stand up and i'm actually going to make the ball push probably what it would push a little it certainly won't hook so the gr if the grass is growing towards me i'm more likely the ball is going to go right the danger is now we can change it around if i change the grass and push it away from me okay so if you found a lie that the grass was going away from you like that okay when i swing into that grass the grass is going to stand up this way i'm really in danger of hitting a hook here this is the one that whips around your hosel and you hit it across your left toe and left so when the grass is flowing that way it's going to stand up and pull the ball left so that's the danger one that's where you need to take extra loft don't go for much if the grass is going away from you if it's dark green if your ball is sitting in it and you're on the you know you're off the fairway take more loft hit a nine iron or an eight iron don't go for broke out of a heavy green lie that's standing up but if the grass is growing with you going down like this as you can see you've seen me hit two shots here so if i've got the grass going with me that ball is sitting down but the grass is going with me i don't have to i don't have to hit that very hard and look no problem whereas if the grass is neutral so there we go we've got a neutral lie i've hit it hard and i still didn't reach the green so you've got to really hit it hard when it's neutral and again if the grass was going against me so if we brushed it that way so somewhat lying down it looks like it's sitting okay but i'm gonna to have to even though i'm trying to hit the ball cleanly i gotta really hit it hard because all that grass is jumping up let's see if we can create the two side ones okay so and again this applies whether you're hitting a chip shot or a long shot if the grass is across me this one's not too bad won't do me any harm to be honest these are quite decent lies i don't have to worry about the let it came out a little to the right as you can see now the danger one so if we pull the grass back and this to be honest a lot of these things this would be more prevalent in the north of the united states it definitely be very prevalent in a bent grass in ireland in the fescue grass so we tried to get the grass going across ball's not lying too bad so when i go to hit that not too bad but a little bit of a pull compared to so that's the one you want to watch hitting a stick to loft loft is your friend in the rough so you know an eight iron will probably go further out of a bad lie in the rough than it certainly will than a miss hit five iron or six iron so always use loft watch out for the direction of the grass the color of the grass if it's pale it's going with you that's what you want uh, if it's dark that's the danger uh, and you know it again is experience just try it practice it see the different colors see the different lies around the greens and just remember okay it was against me that's why it came out heavy it was with me that's why it came out fast and that's you got to read the lie much more important than the technique the technique really doesn't change you're trying to hit the ball as clean as you can and you just experience from experience you understand how much the grass is going to interfere with that shot